Here's my top 10 do's and don'ts when adding sand to a brand new tank or a tank that already has water in it. Plus, one bonus tip you don't want to miss. What you should absolutely avoid the first couple days after adding your sand. First up, do have an overall aquascape and fish plan in mind. It doesn't have to be set in stone. However, consider both your desired look and the fish that you want to add in the future, like wrasses, jawfish, and gobies, so that you add the right amount of sand the first time around. If you are unsure about how much sand to add, keep an eye out for a sand depth calculator. As a general rule, I always recommend about one pound of sand per two gallons of display water volume. Number two, do not rinse any of Caribsea's Aragalife sands or their Oceans Direct sand if you want to maintain the integrity of the added beneficial bacteria inside. Which leads us to number three, always rinse your Caribsea special grade dry sand because it is super dusty and it'll take forever for your tank to clear up. Trust me, you don't want to skip this rinsing step. The best practice is to use RO water for the rinsing process, but if you're in a pinch and have to use tap water, use some dechlorinator first. Number four, make sure to add all the water from the bag of Caribsea's Aragalive sand because it's actually the water that contains the majority of the starter bacteria and the reason you bought the sand in the first place. Number five, when adding Caribsea's Aragalive sands, do use the little packet of clarifier that comes in the bag. It has always worked great for me and clears the water almost immediately, so don't just throw it away. Number six, do your rockscape before adding sand and water into your aquarium. I find it so much easier to build a solid structure and I find it less messy to aquascape without water in your way. Here's an important tip. When building your aquascape, try using rocks with as flat of surfaces as possible. And actually the Marco Rock Foundation Reef Rock is the perfect tool for this job as it's cut flat and smooth on one side, giving your structure both a stable foundation and a more natural look. Number seven. Now this one seems like a no brainer, but I'm gonna mention it anyway. When adding sand to an established tank, don't bury your sand dwelling corals with new sand and uncover them after you're done. Instead, move them out of the way, or you can even take them out of the tank temporarily while you add your new sand. And then once you're done, put them right back into place. Number eight. When all your rock and sand is in its place, do not just dump water haphazardly into your tank. Sand will go everywhere, your rock structure can tumble, and if it took you hours or even days to build your perfect Zen garden look, you just destroyed it. Instead, number nine, pour your water into something flat on the sand bed, like the cover from a salt bucket or a small plate. Or even better, use a small pump and hose to slowly add water into your rock work like the Marco Rock Foundation Reef Rock I just mentioned, which is way less likely to disrupt your newly placed sand. Number 10, when adding sand to your tank that is already set up, do not just cut open the bag and dump the whole thing into your aquarium. Sand will cover everything. Instead, to ensure that your sand ends up in the places that you want it to go, use a small container or cup like this and slowly add your sand to your desired areas. And now for the bonus tip that you've been waiting for. After you've added your sand, do not, I'm gonna repeat it, do not try to clean the inside of your tank with a magnet scraper. The small dust particles actually stick to the magnet and make it like a fine grit sandpaper that will scratch the hell out of your glass or acrylic. Instead, use something softer, like Seachem's foam cleaning sponges, to gently wipe the excess dust off the inside surfaces. You might have to do this a couple times the first few days, but you'll be a lot happier you didn't use your magnet scraper. So what's next? The next thing to consider is how flow and power heads will affect your brand new aquascape and sand bed. Learn from Ryan and Randy and watch their video on the top 22 power head and flow mistakes.